so we have to have the production rate always at its peak that is machine should operate at maximum capacity utilization now typical numbers that go into the indian situation is people have production up times of around 93 to 95 percent and that's considered uh, to be a good number yeah uh, typically the the down times of these machines are caused because of paper breaks which happen because of you know rolls that are failing or because of you know um, steam and condensate systems that tend to you know uh, have have a failure in terms of valves shutting down or rotary joint failures uh, so we have issues of production which can get affected because of uh, the steam and condensate system so coming back to the the what is the best practice one can do when looking at production is to ensure that the production of a paper machine is directly connected to the achievement of the drier surface temperature. Uh, so the drier surface temperature is, is considered to be the most important variable while achieving machine speed or machine production in a machine. And the drier temperature is achieved uh, when you have the right kind of siphon system removing condensate from the dryers. So in this case, for achieving production, we must ensure that condensate comes out of the machine uh, in, as soon as it is formed and is not collecting there. So the best practice here is to ensure that the steam and condensate system is designed appropriately depending upon the machine speed and, and the availability of steam. Yeah. So if you look at the first design parameter here is the type of siphon. If you choose the right kind of siphon, you can get the maximum benefit. We believe that the siphon is the heart of the machine. And if the siphon is of the right type and the right size and the quality, then it can give uh, very good drying rates on the machine. Drying rates of 22, 23, 24 are not impossible to achieve with good siphons. And people have seen dramatic increase in production rates if they adopt the right type of siphon. And we have seen it in our own case when machine speed in a, in a, in a mill in Vietnam in Bai Bang, where by just changing the siphon uh, from the rotary siphon to the stationary siphon, which is considered to be the benchmark for industry now, if you go for the universal cantilever stationary siphon, the drying rates tend to improve and we can get machine speed variations as high as 15% more to about 20% more. In the case of Bai Bang, the Vietnam case, which I'm talking about, the machine speed has gone up from 550 meters per minute to 650 meters per minute. Now that translates directly to a production rate increase of about 20%. Now that's a, a amazing a speed increase just by adopting a best practice of the right siphon type being used. So this tells us that if you choose to do the right thing in the steam and condensate system, you can get benefits which can impact production, not just energy. So coming to the production impact, we believe that start with the right quality of engineering that is being done in the machine. So spend a lot of time doing the correct engineering of the steam and condensate system in terms of the pressure drops, in terms of pipeline sizes, in terms of the way you siphon design, in terms of how the pipelines are designed themselves, that there is no reason for these elements to fail and provide a bottleneck in reaching their production speeds. In terms of production rate, we talked about paper breaks. Now paper breaks can happen if you do not maintain the right pressure and temperature profile along the machine direction. So it is very important to understand that to minimize paper breaks, you have to form the sheet in the right way. So how does one adopt a best practice here? So it's typical for firms to kind of have temperature profiles that are adjusted depending on the grammage of the paper to really adopt the right heating rate in the in the machine section and this is done by grouping the by, by grouping the dryers into groups and once you group the dryers and you provide the right kind of steam pressure in a certain ratio of increase or decrease you can get an appropriate drying curve and that drying curve ensures that you do not have any defects coming in the formation of the sheet and that leads to a more stable sheet so for example when you're running a high speed machine one of the best practices that you already see and is very common now in high-speed machines is the use of the stabilo foil. Uh, we have used stabilo foils in the same Vietnam machine we talked about and what we have seen is that as the machine speed tends to increase, you need to stabilize the sheet. The sheet is a very delicate element and if you are able to stabilize this sheet uh, by means of 
creating the right static pressure profiles around the sheet, then the sheet need not break and it can remain really uh, what you call on the on the dryer uh, throughout as it moves from the wet section to the dry section. So the use of stabilo foils as machine speeds go higher to about 400 mpm is a very good practice that we have seen and that tends to create, make sheet, sheet breaks less and less and that can reduce and reduce the downtime of the machine. So, use of stabilo foils uh, using heated air uh, is, is a best practice in terms of maximizing production rates. Yeah. Uh, the third thing that we have seen uh, for maximizing production rates is to ensure that machines are provided with hoods. Uh, and of course, now this hood and pocket ventilation system that we have seen is a practice that's already been adopted in many countries. India is also catching up with this practice. Although there is a controversy whether you know uh, in tropical climates whether the hood is necessary, but I believe that the hood is an essential element of the pulp and paper machine uh, because it provides a consistent drying environment and it provides uh, controlled uh, psychrometric conditions for paper drying. So in terms of production rate increase, the hood has an inbuilt pocket ventilation system that tends to uh, ventilate the pockets which are saturated and it increases the heat transfer coefficient and thereby enhances the production rate of the machine. So the best practice here is uh, when you're going for a hood, also go in for the, the pocket ventilation system and that tends to give you higher production rates in the extent of 5 to 6%.